Hi guys, it's Melissa from 70 Acres Studio. I have happy mail all the way from New Zealand. I am so excited. Check out this envelope. It is so awesome. I love that sheep. <laughs> it's from the lovely Maggie Lockley. I'm so excited. And look at this washi tape. I have never seen anything like it. It's fabulous. I'm definitely saving that. Let's see. Make sure I don't cut anything. Wow! Sure. Okay, it's empty. Wow, look at all these goodies. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. What a lovely note. Wow! Oh my gosh, look at that! Oh, that's pretty! <laughs> that's so cool! It's really nice and sturdy, too. Oh, cool! paper that is. It's interesting. The dye went through the paper. Okay, I get it. She did like alcohol inks on the paper first and then came back and did this texture. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That's so neat. Oh, look at that. Oh my God, Maggie, that is so beautiful. Oh, I love the curly Q wire that she used. Wow, that's so pretty. Oh, Maggie, thank you so much. Look at that, that's so pretty. I think I'm gonna take this type of thing and be like D from Betsy Doodle. She asked for hands of friendship, and she said that she was going to hang them, and someone said maybe like a banner. But I'd like to take all these paper feathers and hang them from a banner. I was watching somebody today on YouTube while I was at work. Uh, they were, I think it was, uh, it was uh, DIY, DIYS Sigrid Soto. Uh, she was doing feathers with made out of CDs. So I brought home a whole stack of CDs from work that weren't being used anymore. But oh, this is so pretty. I love this. And I I think it's sweet that Maggie says that she's she will be married 50 years on the 29th of July. The 29th of July is my birthday. Unfortunately, I won't be 50. I'll be 57. Oh my God, look at this. <gasps> Isn't that fantastic? I just love it. That is so cool. I love kiwi birds. Hi, Bozy Pose. 
Oh, that's so cool. I was talking to my work son today. Anybody that reminds me of my son, I just tell them I'm adopting you. So I have a couple of boys, a couple of guys at work that I call my my work son. But one of my work sons, the the kid that takes care of my uh, chickens when we go away, he was saying that he and his wife want to retire to New Zealand. Oh my God, I love this. This is so fantastic. <laughs> is that not awesome? That just has so much awesome on it. I can't stand it. I love it. <laughs> oh, look at this pretty one. Wow. Oh, that's pretty. And I never thought I never thought to do that. If you take all the additional layers, the, the second and sometimes third layer off your napkin, especially when you're shipping international, it saves on weight. Oh my god, I love him. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, look at all this stuff. Ooh. Oh, I have those brads. These little tiny flower brads. Oh, I love this. It feels like she made it out of um, maybe drop sheet paper or um, wrapping paper. And here's another one. Look at those. So pretty. Oh, this one has a heart in the middle. I don't have a heart, any heart breads. So pretty. Oh my god! Oh, Maggie! Oh my god! She painted me a rooster! Oh, I love him! Now I'm crying. Oh, he's adorable! He's the only rooster I can have while I'm on Long Island. Not allowed to have roosters here. Oh, I absolutely love him! I'm hanging him right up on my wall here. Oh, thank you, Maggie! Oh, I love him! <clears throat> oh, this is such pretty ribbon. Hang on, guys. Can't see. Oh, this is pretty. So nice and shiny. Oh, this is pretty. I love the feel of this paper. Very nice. See, Maggie made me a chicken. My husband popped in. Oh, is this what that texture? Um, what was that? The wheat paste? Wallpaper paste? This is really cool. Well, yeah, I think I feel it. Can't really tell. I know that um, RC Fartsy Fairy posted a really great video on using the texture paste with uh, the wallpaper paste. And you can make stuff that almost looks holographic. That's beautiful. I love that. Oh! 
cool. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, it's on the back of a playing card. Oh, that's so sweet. Isn't that beautiful? That purple ribbon back there is stunning. Really pretty. Oh, here's some more. I bet you that looks like it might have been food or something. Did you uh, do some potato stamping? That's cool. Oh no, that's bubble wrap. That's what that is. That's bubble wrap. Oh, this is pretty. I love this. Isn't that sweet? This is from an old book. That's pretty. Oh, and here's even more of it. Let's see this pretty little scroll on the back. Follow the advice of the experts. That's pretty. Ooh, I like this paper. These colors are great. I love this type of paper. I don't know what kind it is. But I love those colors. Oh, that's fantastic. Almost looks like ancient coins. When you look at all the different textures and on the circles. Looks like somebody just took a bunch of old coins and stuck them on here. Really cool. Oh, some pretty feathers. Love's Labor's Lost. Cool. Oh, here's some more. Now, let's see. Is she going to be a tease and give me two consecutive pages so I can keep reading? Oh, no. This is a mid Midsummer Night's Dream. Oh, well. <laughs> I don't get the rest of the story. Something about a king wanting to dance with some lady. Cool. That's really nice. Oh, this is pretty. Ready. Oh, this is fancy. Uh, shimmer paints. Boy, that's nice. I like that. It's like a really nice dry brush technique. It's very wispy. Oh, this is pretty. Looks like an opal in here. That's real pretty. Ooh, this one's shimmery. I think it's a patterned paper. Maybe not. That's really cool. Wow, I even like the back. Look at that. There's a very, very fine, like, lines going in here. See them? Really very pretty. Ooh. 
Oh, that's pretty. Oh, Maggie, thank you so much. What a wonderful package. This is so fantastic. I will love using or fondling every little piece in here. That's fantastic. It really is. And I love my rooster so much. I am going to go hang up my rooster right here by my desk. And I'm going to add that to... I, I bought a package of um, the sheets for ATCs and I've gotten several now so I'm going to start putting them in there. This I really love. You have to tell me, Maggie, is this the wallpaper paste texture technique? Because it came out really cool. I love it. And I bought the texture pa the wallpaper paste, but I haven't used it yet. This I really like. All these fantastic napkins and these flowers. I've got such a collection of flowers now. These tags. And my wonderful little rooster. <laughs> Thank you so much, Maggie. I love everything. It was such a treat to, to find your envelope in the mailbox today. As a reminder, the deadline for the challenge is now May 30th due to travel plans. So you have until May 30th. I just need something small, some, uh, you know, some mop-up coffee filters or paper towels or uh, some drop sheets. Nothing major. Some. some painted receipts or some sheetrock tape that you've painted doesn't have to be anything big just an envelope especially if you're international you know um, I don't know how much this cost Maggie let me see if the price is on it it's going to be in New Zealand dollars though uh, it says thirteen forty-five. Um, I don't know what the equivalent is in in um, U.S., but um, you know it can be it can be much less than this. Uh, again, if you're international and you want to send some napkins, I love napkins. Just remove the additional layers. It just helps a little bit with the weight, and uh, it doesn't have to be you know watercolor paper that you've painted. It can be drop sheet or uh, kids like construction paper or copier paper. So just something small and send it to me by uh, May 30th and I've been building and building and building the prize box up and I will give you all a peek in the box um, maybe in about uh, a week and I think that's about it for now. I am working on a project. I didn't show it last night because I wanted to see how it was going to work. I wanted to make something. A gal at work uh, is very much into ballet and she has all of these ballet calendars that she keeps giving me. And I wanted to make her a little thank you because the, they're great images. So I wanted to collage this onto something onto a nice background and I just I had uh, a pack of three of these and I don't know what size it is it's not on here it is I got it for um, over the holiday I used it for um, the piece that I made for my neighbor Linda uh, this is 14 by 11 So I wanted to just make something and I was playing around with my uh, Bombay inks and I think that it's getting to be a little bit too busy and I'm 
getting kind of stingy all of a sudden because I looked at some of my bottles and like this bottle is half empty this bottle is half empty this bottle is half empty I'm having a bit of a panic attack because I see that these are really going down rapidly I use them all the time so I need to uh, order some more but I think I'll try a different style of background. I'm look I was looking for a very soft and vintagey, um, like a, a Titan buff, and then some colors similar to this, but much more subdued and uh, kind of like you know an opal or very springy. And I was going to also add some beautiful lace that I've gotten in Happy Mail. Uh, and just go around it a little bit and I was going to fussy cut this out. So that's what I was doing last night. If I formulate a plan that I actually like, I'll turn the camera on and I'll, I'll let you watch. So that's about it for now. Thank you ever so much, Maggie. I love the package. It was wonderful. I'm going to hang my little rooster up right now. And that's about it. So I will talk to you all later. Hi everyone, it's Melissa from 70 Acre Studio. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'd be grateful if you'd please give me a thumbs up and a kind comment down below. Please share my channel with your friends and on your social media and please subscribe. When you subscribe, please click the alarm bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video. Thanks for helping grow my channel. So long now!